That's an amazing song coming through uh, from Getting Getting. Goma naitua, atakua natuambia mwenyewe, goma naitua nini. But before that, before ni inge kwenye latest gospel hits. Wow, Alpha Dari. Hey. Tende kazi. Alright, <laughs> Jaza Maki, natumai pale pale ulipo, awendi pale popote, na teko na msaini, anapenda kwa jina Getting Getting. Getting Getting vipi? Kwa sana. Labda geti geti ni nani ama geti 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 ni jina lako la, la kuweli ama ni jina lako la kisa ni? Geti geti ni jina lako la kisa ni. Uh, jina lako la kuweli labda wazo mbunu wa yanga geti geti vipi <laughs> na kwa vipi? Geti geti, majina angu kamili ni getri, yeah. abeza, yeah. abituli. Ya. Yeah. Yeah. Ipo geti geti ni jina balo mungu wa likupia labda ndo toni ama ama watu wa likupo wa likupo wa nakuita nuka mungu jita vipi? walipenda kunita geti geti uh-huh. geti kwanza uh-huh. kisha mimi kaona jina la kisani liwe geti geti okay. lakini ufupi wa get road ni geti fresh na labda geti geti ni mzaliwa wapi na labda unafanya nini apart from music okay geti geti anatoka maeneo ya kakamega uh-huh. mahali kunaitwa haega malimili kijiji kidogo cha buterema <laughs> Mkijipanga hiyo direction Ndakuwa na kujibu ni kijua Eh haiga Ok saa Wata ni ingia kwenye latest gospel hits Tayari tusha anza kwenye art world And thank you so much for keeping in touch with us Each and every Sunday Mekua msaada sana that you're gonna get in touch with us In each and every social media platform Hapo hivyo Dawi ni yuko hapo hivyo Getty Getty yuko hapo hivyo And of course my good name is Dopez DJ DJ Viano Latest gospel hits Ah kama sani wa nguvu sana umekuja na muziki uh, na these are brand new songs bwana mungu wangu mata mwaipaja coming through uh, Joel Luanga umekuja na song inaitwa mlima and then kuna Silvio Akoth uh, ngoma inaitwa jaza moyo wangu and then kuna Alpha mwana mtule anaitwa kikongo ya uh, uongo okay sawa and then kuna msanii wa nguvu sana hapo hivi anaitwa Walter Chilambo featuring uh, artist kutoka Tanzania hivi anaitwa Mbweni song inaitwa inatosha those are the latest gospel hits get in touch with us so tuambie kama una mziki pale kama una art work ambayo ungependa sana the praise mix uh, family waweza kuguzia so share with us on social media platform na itakuwa salama sana nikirudi kwa story ya Haega <laughs> Haega sijui get it get it now that tuko na link na yeye i think that tumia that link kufika Haega send you okay, wow okay. <laughs> back to you darling okay umesema umesema kwamba unafanya unafanya muziki na get it get it jina lako la kisani sio labda una muziki ningapi kufikia sasa na kwa muziki which is your favorite song kwa muziki wako Kufikia sasa ni na miziki mbili, mwili, mm-hmm. tenda baba na nasonga mbele. Yeah. Nasonga mbele mm-hmm. inakuja mm-hmm. lakini already sikiza tune yake iko ready. Mm-hmm. Lakini tenda baba utaipata pale YouTube. Safi, mbona tenda baba? Mbona ukaamua kuimba nyimbo tenda baba labda? Tenda baba. Mm-hmm. Kuna kuna hali zilikuwa zina zinanikumba, zinakumba familia yetu. Ninaona pia watu wengine wanapitia mambo ambayo wanahitaji msaada wake Mungu. Kicha nikaamua kuambia Mungu kwamba tenda baba. Lilikuwa ni ombi. Na hakika nimekuwa nikimwona akitenda. Ndio. Sasa unasema tenda baba ni ombi ambalo ni lime labda unajua wewe wewe before andike nyimbo yako sababu labda before andike nyimbo ya tenda baba. Ndio. Huwa kuna vile. Unajua kuna wasanii wanasema kwamba mimi before niandike nyimbo kuna wewe Mungu ananizungumzia wengine wana watendo toni. Labda wewe inakuwa jitu. Ha, yangu nitasema pengine tofauti kidogo. Kuna wakati naweza kuwa nimekaa napata mood yangu imechange. Mood imechange kabisa. Kisha hiyo mood ikichange naweza kuwa ni ya furaha ama ni ya uzuni kulingana na ile message ambayo inakuja. Na napata nimeanza beats zinaanza kuimba kwenye kichwa changu beats beats napata na, naongea maneno kisha naimba wimbo. Hivyo tu. Na pia kuna wakati naweza kuwa nimelala na naamka wimbo unaimba. Naweza mkao wakati na nijirekodi kwa simu yeah. wakati wimbo umekuja yes. sababu uenda ukilala tena utarudi utaamka na upate wimbo yeah. umepotea yeah. eh sawa naamka ninachukua audio kidogo kwa simu kisha naendelea kulala mm. eh yeah. labda tuseme kule 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 kuchukua kule kuchukua labda audio labda unasema una record mm. na nini kwa nini kwa nini tuko record na kwa nini si kwa sababu watu wengine wanasema okay mimi ndio nikuje na stick kwa hicho mm-hmm. Nyimbo nyingi sana. Huwa ni na rekodi kwa sababu niko na nyimbo nyingi sana. Nilianza kupata ufunua ku compose nyimbo nikiwa high school. So nyimbo ni nyingi. So afadhali ni rekodi ndio huenda kama nitasahau. Sometimes huwa nasahau, zingine huwa sisahau na stick kabisa. So inakuwa ni vyema nikirekodi. Na labda safari yako ya muziki la, lazima kuna venye umekutana na bila visiki. Labda kuna venye umekutana umekuwa vizuri na kuna imekuwa vipi? 
Um, ziki kumekuwa na ups and downs actually Neza kuambia haijakuwa very soft yes. Haijakuwa very soft Mifika mahali yada, hadi nikafikiria ni yache ya manini Lakini bado kuna ile mskumo Unajoka kitu yuko ndani yako yeah. Kuna kuwa na mskumo endele ya tu mm -hmm. Na give up lakini wacha endele mm -hmm. Na ni moment gani moment gani Ilu liyaisha fika tu kasema Da, mimi mziki na chaya na Kasa oo wa msani yote <laughs> mie na juo Kuna wali plano na fiko kasema apani Mimi mziki mm -hmm. asta kitena Sasa <laughs> Kuna wakati niki, niki shoot wimbo wa tenda baba. Mm. Ili patika na kuwamba tunaenda, nimeambia watu tunefatu ndi tunimbe na wimbo. Yes. Wanisaidia katika shooting. Mm. Wame, wameomba ru, raf, na rusa katika kazi, mm. ilikuwa ni weekday. Yeah. Wameomba rusa, wanakuja tunde tu shooting. Ikaonekana kuwamba hako kwenye, kwenye video. Yeah, yeah. You can imagine, nani my friends zako, wanakuwamba unajua si ile siku tuliomba na, ra, na fasi, Hatu kupewa pesa, hatu kulipo hiyo siku, na hatu kwa kwenye video. Mm. Nili fili kwa heartbroken sana. Eh. Ndiyo. Naona viyana na jii. <laughs> in that in that line ya uh, ku feel like uko down kidogo uh, naona job job simba job iko pale okay, maybe you can share the relationship now you with the video producer <laughs> the relationship is not bad uh, you know uh, katika hii safari mm -hmm. kuna watu wengi sana watu wengi ambao waliweza kuniingiza mm -hmm. kwamba unaanza safari ambayo haifai you give up mm -hmm. Uh, Viano being one of them and I really thank God for him yeah. Aliniambia hii safari Sio ya kugive up nah. So wakati nikutana na changamoto kama hii Bado nilisema no This just ni mapito Itapita na itaisha So side relationship yetu siyo mbaya Hata watu nungia wanabia ulugeti Unarudi lini Na nitarudi siyezi kacha atarudi <laughs> Sababu ok Hii ni kazi ya mungu tunafanya Haifa ituwa kechuki Na hakuna aji ya chuki, kama utaendelea na chuki na unaimbia mungu, ni mbingu gani tunaenda yeah. eh. Na labda, what do you consider before fanyi audio na producer mm -hmm. Na before fanyi video na video director, what do you consider? Umtu lazima kuweje, kama ni, uh, ni music producer, mm -hmm. kama ni video director, lazima kuweje uh, Kitumiu consider ni quality, mm -hmm. quality ya producer mm -hmm. ama na recorder yeah. Ndiyo Hakuna kitu kikine labda mwokoka hivi ama <laughs> Bale koko kana ili lazima, yeah. eh, nivyama kama ameokoka sababu yeah. Mchu ambaye ameokoka na wewe unaimba njimba wazo niza mungu yeah. At least muna flow, mal, yeah. same direction yeah. Hata kuna upako ambaye anaiza kukuambukiza wewe pia <laughs> eh, eh. Na uh, ulisema kuna venye uh, director alikata watu wakawatoa eh. Hawa watu ambao alikata wakawatoa, waka jee usiano we, wako wewe na wao, jee upo vipi? Uko sawa sana Hata the next song wameniambia tuko tayari, si tuakupatia support Aya. Wali niambia hii Na umefanya vipi ndo urudi, urejeshe uu siyano wako na director Adigo Sema Viano, umefanya vipi kurejesha uu siyano wako na hawa watu mbao uyo hita kwa hivyo kwenye video yako Niliwaelezea, na ha, wawo pia kwa macho wali itazama, wakaona kila macho kilitokea yeah. Wakaona makosa haiku wali yangu mm. Waka niambia, kuna shida tumelewa na wakati mungine sisi tukua pata kusaidia mm -hmm. Sasa, wamekua upande wangu sana Fresh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, what uh, and then we just want to understand in the line in the line of prayer okay. uh, which kind of prayer that will make then God akakufungulia now unaweza unaweza imba nyimbo ambayo inaenda kwa jina kama tenda baba okay. yeah um wimbo tenda baba mm -hmm. unajua wakati ume, umekumbwa na certain situation mm -hmm. Utaomba kulingana na iyo hali mm -hmm. Pengine kama unataka ume, unataka mke Utaomba kulingana na iyo hali um, Uko katika magonja mm -hmm. Utaambia mungu tenda, ni tenda uniponye mm -hmm. Pengine uko katika hali ya haja Unataka pengine pesa nini Unambia mungu na omba Utaimba, utaimba wimbo kulingana na kuomba mm -hmm. Kwa hivyo kulingana na hali ambayo uko ndani Inakufanya unaimba huo wimbo Hapa mamangu walikuwa mgonja sana Mgonja mili wana mamangu akiku, aki, akikufa mara tatu Jesus. Mara tatu Na ile mara ya mwisho ambayo ilikuwa that serious Na pia ilikuwa ya mwisho Ilikuwa in 2013 Kama raka kujain college Sasa hakuna pesa ya kuenda college Mathe sasa kitu imebaki ni ngombe Kulikuwa na ngombe moja tu Na ngombe ilifa uze na at 20,000 Around 20,000 Yo 20,000 nafani kuwa admitted college Admission inakuanga high sana Nafani kuwa admitted Kuna school fees hapo, na hizo tutu zingine zote shopping na kila kitu. Mm. Na hiyo ngombe, huyo ngombe moja hatu ndi alikuwa mebaki. Mm. Mama ungudio ni mgonjwa. Hakuna pesa za kumpeleka hospitali. Mm. Sasa akiwa mgonjwa, aliweza kuza ngombe. Haka nimbia, unajua pesa ya ngombe ya kwa nyumba. Haka nipatia hiyo pesa, haka nimbia enda uweke. 
niliweka pesa nje ya nyumba in fact to, to be specific niliweka pesa nilichimba mchanga nilichimbua mchanga nikaweka chini ya mchanga katikati ya mandizi that was the only safe place ningeweka hiyo pesa ehe sasa amekuwa mgonjwa wow. mimi ndio niko na pesa maybe can share with us uh, now unajua kuna mtu anatazama pale hivyo maybe ni boy <laughs> ama ni dem pale hivyo then when it come to in story ya do uh -huh. eh mzi hapa uh -huh. trust hata kama ni mtoto wangu <laughs> sikupi <laughs> nini ulifanya madaka akasema okay uh -huh. i can give you this one this uh, nini kind of uh, cash okay mm -hmm. I think ni, kwa sababu nilikuwa nikigrow nilikuwa mtifu mm -hmm. na aliweza kuni trust sio mi peke yangu pia aliweza aliweza ku trust si wote hakuna mm -hmm. mtoto madhea na babu actually mm -hmm. lakini hiyo wakati sababu mkubwa hakuwa tulikuwa hapo kama watatu ikabidi ameni trust tu je unajua mimi nimelelewa kwa kwa church mm -hmm. na nimekuwa na hizo tabia nzuri you know you cannot trust mtu mwenye unajua huyu na hizi atai pesa so that is why we talking about church uh -huh. there are so many people in church uh -huh. but they are pretenders bana very true very sana za kufanyia kitu mpaka ukasema eh boss uh -huh. umsaini wa church kwa mbao kwa kakeli that was the people who tanishe za kanisa jina la Mungu mm -hmm. but actually ali ni trust up to now trust yangu yake yuko kwangu sana mm -hmm. ndio so hiyo pesa ameenda hospitali mimi ndio niko nimempeleka hospitali mm -hmm. alitolewa kwa nyumba kama hayuko acha kufa mm -hmm. kufika kakamega yani tulikuwa tuna lakini mimi nilikuwa naomba mm -hmm. we were very prayerful nilikuwa mm -hmm. naomba nikiambia Mungu ukamponye ukamtende unaona hiyo neno tenda ina tokea tu. Mm -hmm. Mtende, umponye, tutende. Mm -hmm. Kufika general. Mm -hmm. Yaani I don't know how things happened. Ni kama nilikuwa nimechizi but nilikuwa na instruct daktari hapo. Mm -hmm. Sika okay. wai msahau uh, look kalekwa penye huko Mungu akubariki sana through him but I was instructing him. Unge, unajua angekuwa mwingine angeniambia uko na kirere kama wewe daktari si umtibu mama yako lakini aliweza kunisikiza. Hivyo akaweza kupona. Okay. Yo pesa ambayo ilikuwa ya ngombe ndio mimi nilitumia hospitalini. Hii pesa uliweka wapi? Pesa nilitoa kwa pale kwa mchanga. Na kwa hiyo wale wachimbia pesa mchangani. Ndio. Hata ukifikiria kama kama kuna mtu labda yupo na kuona ama labda zikija zikapotea. Yaani mimi kwa mindset yangu nilijua hapo ndio mali safe. Nikaeka kwa nyumba huenda mama atakufa watu waje kwa nyumba wachukue pesa. Nikaona hapo ah ah huenda mtu atafikia. Na katika hiyo hali ya mama yako labda umesema alikufa mara tatu. Katika hiyo hali ya mama yako What was your experience hapo? Ulikuwa labda una ICC VIP na kuanzia hapo ulijifunza nini mpaka sasa hivi kama maisha kama wewe mbali na pia Mkristo ambaye amesimama? I can say that experience really hardened me. Yes. Ilinifanya nikakuwa mgumu. Mm -hmm. Kwa sababu unaona hiyo hali haikuwa rahisi. Mm -hmm. Mara ya kwanza ndio hiyo mnaona mama ametuacha hadi ana Twitter anatuambia mimi mimi nita, mimi nimewaacha na mbaki salama. Unaona kufikia hapo yani mimi mnajua you feel desperate already mnaanza ku feel mini ma offense that may pitia ugonjwa sana lakini iliweza kunifanya nikakuwa hard nikakuwa hard kutoka hapo nikaenda kuwa house girl hivyo hivyo mimi ni nimekuwa hard hard in my life na na katika 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 ile hadi baada ya mama yako kuwa mgonjwa nini cha kwanza kilikuja kilikuja kilimwao ukasema nifanye hiki na nisifanye hiki ni Mungu ni Mungu kwa sababu unajua kuna hiyo kitu inaitwa faith kuna kale unapitia hali ngumu hadi unasikia ni kama kuna yani kuna kale tuka faith kakushikilia yani umeshaloose hope yes. umeona ni kubaya hauwezi lakini kuna kale kamoja kale tu kushikilia hadi kulikuwa na wimbo ukanikujia ile ya nashikilia na ninginia na ile imani kidogo ile tu kidogo in fact that very little faith hiyo ndio inafanyanga maneno Mimi narudi kwa doa hapo hivi. Because umelelewa kanisani and kukuja kwa hii level you understand the Bible vifiti sana. Kuna wale wase watatu walipotoa doa. Kuna ule alichimbia chini. Ule alimultiply. Eh na kuna ule mwingine alifanya sijui huyo mwingine alifanya nini but wewe kukuja kwa mind yako ya like anze huyo mwingine alichimbia chini ya mchanga. Unaona? Sasa haingekuja kwa mind yangu kwa nini? Kwa sababu mimi the main intention nilikuwa nayo ni hii pesa ikuwe safe. Mm -hmm. Ikuwe safe kwa sababu uenda madhara akikufa mimi ndio uenda nita support vitu. Kwa nini kwa nini uko na uwezo wa ku multiply? Songe chungu kwa biashara, nini jifungue okay. Kuna tumatunda unaweza uza. Ah uh, nilikuwa mm -hmm. nilikuwa najua ninaenda college. Okay. Na kwa hivyo sikilikuwa na time ya ku manage business mm -hmm. na ilikuwa pia after form form. Mm -hmm. So what kile ilikuwa kwa mind yangu madhara kwa mimi nimeenda ufanye kazi ile kazi utapata siku siku kuweza kubagua nikaenda kufanya kazi ya ya, ya house guard mm -hmm. so lengo letu lilikuwa nikipata mimi nilikuwa natumia 500 peke yake mm -hmm. 
kwa mwezi kwa mwezi wa mm -hmm. Nilikuwa nalipa 4000. Na pia na 5500 uh, kwa mamangu. 500 ndio mimi natumia. Wow. So alikuwa pia anaongezea kwa hiyo pesa. So si si kwa eti na nia nifanye biashara. Ni yangu ilikuwa niende college. Mm -hmm. yes. Talking about being a house girl. Sitaki kwa ngai kwenda kwa down moments because this is the big. <laughs> what is this moment? You you as a house girl. Enye ukiangalia back sa hizi. Unaambia wenyewe God manze thank you kwa kuni allow me kwa house girl. Hey, as much as um you know some situations some some situations zina zinakufanya unakuwa hard. Unajua mimi nili, nili grow shago. Okay. Kwa house girl nilifanya for the first time in my life niko na microwave. For the first time in my life, I had the fridge. So, me, I was in the house by the way, I was in the mentality. I was in the house girl, 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 I was in the Apana, kwanza ni kutoka home, ni kutoka home kena Nairobi naenda kuhustle. Na nilijua mimi ni mefika form 4, eh? Mtu kifika form 4 na isiko kuna papers. Na, na, na. Hey, satukiri ya form 4 by the way, usiona mefika, bado. Nilitembea industrial area. Kutoka kwa, from one company to another, nikitafuta kazi. Na sikuwa peki yangu, unapatana na watu wengi sana, unatafuta kazi. Unafika saane, satana, unarui kwa nyumba. So, lengo langu nikushuka nyubani ya hiko kwa, kwa house girl. Nithani ngepata. Maybe kazi kwa, kwa, kwa kampuni. <laughs> <laughs> Lakini kazi ya hiko wepo. Hmm. Nika sema sasa, siku zinasonga. Mi zinasonga. Inafaa ni join college. Yeah. What shall I do? Nekambia one of my aunt. Ukisikia mtu mayandaka msena wa kazi. Ya nyumba. Ni connect. Ok, unaoperate ya wapi ya po saizi? Saizi. Yeah. Saizi mi ni mwalimu. Not, not kwa pa saizi. Mm. That house girl moment. Ulikuwa naifanyia wapi? Nilikuwa naifanyia kahawa sukari. Mm -hmm. Ndiyo. That is Nairobi. Nairobi. Okay. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> ulifanya jambaka na uka jipata. Okay, ukenda shule, uka maliza. Mm -hmm. Then you're like, okay, when do you use uh, Zile pesa likuwa naweka. Na, napatia madhia naweka. Mm -hmm. Likuwa natumia only 500. Mm -hmm. Na yu pesa iweza kunisaidia ni kajui. Though, mm -hmm. pia hapo kwa nyumba kulikuwa na shida. Kulikuwa na changamoto sana pale. Okay. Kulikuwa na changamoto. Lakini, miata siku focus sana kwa changamoto. You know when you are focused? I was focused ndaka kumali, nipate pesa nende college. So, hivyo ndo zilikuja zikafika. Mavena ya kajika kamua, hivyo hivyo ni kajio ni college. Ndiyo. Mm -hmm. Na, ina as much as Liana unasema tusi, tusi ziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziziz
So nikiwa wakati nikiwa pale mimi nilikuwa naambia watu niko kwa anti yangu. Niko tu poa kwa anti yangu na watu walijua mimi niko Nairobi kwa anti yangu na wakiniona walikuwa naona niko smart sana. Because mimi when I'm going through a hard situation I don't really actually show people. Because kuna watu wakati watu wengi sana wakati unapitia hali ngumu wanasherekea. They celebrate. Mwingine ana kudanganya sorry but si sorry ya moyo. Ni hapa tu kudanganya sorry. Akishamaliza sorry anasema anataka hivyo. Ah get it. So I didn't actually watu wengi walijua niko kwa my aunt. Only my mother and my sisters will join me in a kazi ya umboch. You mean my boys could drop hood yako at that time? What happened? Eh? Uh -huh. okay. How did you handle now that okay? That is Because wewe kataza mtu wewe usikuje hapa. They will come. But you as a lady, how uh -huh. did you handle that situation? Sa hizi uko poa unaweza sema okay sawa I have my money, I have everything. Uh -huh. But that moment <laughs> That moment? Yeah. No, actually see to keep grow. See um vile madhe ali to ali to train. Mm -hmm. Atuko watu wa wa hiyo maneno. Mhm. Mm Mother alikuwa anapea msomo anatuambia unajua huko nje ni kubai kwa hivi so then tulikuwa tuna focus to some then kanisa pia unajua kuna vile vitu vingine unaibika hata saa hizi mimi kwetu zingine sizifanye sababu unajua kwa accountable to somebody actually mm. then god pia ujue macho ya Mungu naye ni makali anaona kila mahali mm. so kuna tu vile utajiuliza hii ni mzuri sio mzuri mm. then i did not even have thoughts ya hayo maneno kabisa totally mm -hmm. at home mimi naangalia hadi nyumbani naangalia mbele you know, and that is why that, that is how watu wengi huwa wanakosea ama wanaangukia. Focus haiko mali moja. Mtu anataka ndiye asome but ana focus inafaa mbaba anishughulikie si inafaa nini? Focus inakuwa divided. Lakini ilikuwa focus nataka kwenda college. Hivyo hivyo. Hapo ndani siku anatoka ilikuwa ni estate. Mimi nilikuwa natoka nikifungua tu mlango, sasa peke yake nimeambia ndio ilikuwa natoka. Sikuwa na off na sasa tutaseme si Sunday umetoka sasa eh. si Sunday umetoka alafu umekutana na kijana fulani amepiga kisuti kanisani au uh, uh, kijana au uh, kwepata kijana kama huyo anakuambia vitu mm, 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 mm. vizuri sasa hizo umetoka umetoka church eh. mabos ndio ume, umewafungulia mlango mm -hmm. eh wakati wewe ukafunga mm -hmm. mko hapa hapa na wao mm -hmm. wako mbele tu kidogo we yeah. nyuma ama wewe mbele mm -hmm. wao nyuma mm -hmm. tena kurudi ni hivyo hakuna mm -hmm. nafasi ya hizo na wewe mwenyewe unafikiria nimeacha kazi nyingi kwa singi sufuria nini nini hiyo maneno itatokea wapi ai ndio ndio uko na mabishi sio ndio ana namba yako ndio mabishi ndio tu ana namba yako kwa mkaka akakusumbua wewe wakati mimi nilikuwa na play now niko kwa my aunt niko busy hivyo 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 hakukuwa nafasi ya vitu zingine actually na labda mimi uli focus ukakuka kwa vizuri hivi unaziambiaje ule dada ambaye ameshindwa kabisa ku handle akipatikana na baba anasema this is the chance na Eh naweza mwambia by the way hawa watu ni tricky sana. Mm -hmm. Hawa watu ni tricky. Mm -hmm. First jiangalie uje wewe mtaka nini in life. Mm -hmm. Because you know ina ina happening wakati unaambia mtu yes mwingine pia anakuja hivyo hivyo. Mm -hmm. So unapata umechanganyikiwa. Mm -hmm. So ni afadhali tu tulie na ujiulize what do you want in life? Mm -hmm. Then ujue kwamba wewe vile unajiangalia umefika are you ready for marriage? Kitu kama hiyo. Lakini sikuwe tu mtu amekuja so ni jiunania na kuanga na ama iko hiyo hiyo ndio form hiyo ndio mtindo hapana yeah. first kwa focus ni <laughs> but get get okay unajua each and every levels ndio uh, au uh, watu wakosekani okay. na tukikuja ku understand sasa hizi why uh, why now uh, tuko na all this backlash no. in the gospel ministry mm -hmm. automatically this is the reason is one of the reason aita kosa katika tuseme na bwana number 2 itakuwa hapo is it number 1 mm -hmm. ama number 2 uh -huh. so what is that system when you go make up ministry you are like manze mini get get i'm a minister mm -hmm. and uh, i want to do stuff for god but this one system yangu itaikata so for me nimekwambia tu hiyo focus mimi nime focus na track to fly but they hata hata kwa hii ministry hadi saa hizi zinatokea zinatokea but unajua ukiwa na msimamo ukiwa na msomo anambia mtu hapana Mm -hmm. Mimi nimekuja nataka kuimba. Mm -hmm. Uje the way wakati unaonekana ni kama umelegeza kidogo mm -hmm. mtu anapata hiyo opportunity. Okay. Lakini ukiwa focused, yeye anaona yeye huyu naye ni kama nita waste time. Yeah. Na na labda acha tu nikukatisha kidogo. Ndio. Ujaipata na okay. Wadada wengi wakienda kwa kuna producer, ujaipata producer anakuambia vipi? Nini nataka kupea ofa? Sasa kichoma. But it's happening. It's happening. It's happening. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
ili ilikuja wakati ambao kwa sababu unajua wakati mwingi inakuja wakati ambao ambapo wapo sawa. Sasa una una hela. Ndio. Ngoma imekuja wakati. Uh-huh. Unaambia Mungu mimi nataka kurekodi ume pray God mmwambia tayari kukuko kwa rekodi nyingine. Ndio. Alafu tu ndio ni boom. Boom imetokea. Ndio hizo kama director anakuambia uko umefanya vipi. Hata saa hizi hata saa hizi kuna mtu anani watu wananiambianga. <laughs> Naweza kusponsor baadhi yuko na kipao anaweza kusponsor. Mimi <laughs> nawaambianga mimi sitaki kusponsiwa. <laughs> Sina haraka. <laughs> Do you know kitu kimoja? Mimi kulingana na mimi sijui wengine wakoaje. Yeah. Mimi husema sina haraka. Mm-hmm. Number one, sina haraka iti ya kusema nataka ku hit. Ama uje, mimi nasema kuwa wakati wa Mungu mm-hmm. kila kitu kitafanyika. Mm-hmm. Nilianza ku, nilianza ku ku compose nyimbo nilikuwa form 1. Kitambo sana. That was in 2 208 I think 208 form 1. Hizo nyimbo zimekuwa, zimekuwa, zimekuwa. Kuna kitu inaitwa patience. Mimi niliamua nitakuwa na patience kwa hii ministry. Yes, I'll do my part. I'll work towards my uh, fulfilling my 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 visions lakini kuna patience kama huna patience that is all and continue kama hizo unasema unasema hai hii ni opportunity acha nianguke na Mungu naye pia atakuacha na unajua pia yani unajua kuna wadada ambao wanapitia the same thing producer mm-hmm. amemwambia niaje uh, ama amepata msanii amemwambia niaje mimi nitakulipia audio alafu mm-hmm. yenye ilikuwa audio inageuka inageuka inakuwa love so sio vipi sasa kuna patience yani kwa mpole sana usikwe na haraka kwanza uko na haraka ndio unakuwa ndio unakuwa driven na hiyo maneno lakini kuwa na patience ujue kwamba Mungu kwa wakati wake atajifunua na atahakisha mambo yote yako sawa kwa ndio <laughs> wow acha tukuje kwa story ya church ah uh, wewe kuko kwa kanisa imechangia kivipi now for you to make sure that uh, mziki wako iko pale you are not singing because watu wanaimba uh, you are singing because you want to minister to people actually mm-hmm. naweza sema uh, wa baba wangu wa kiroho mm-hmm. mmoja akiwa pastor zado kivunaga mm-hmm. actually huyo ni mchungaji ambaye amekuwa na patience ha? na injili yake I think n- mimi ni product yake. Mhm. Yeye mchungaji amekuwa kiminister ukiangalia ma- mahali ambapo yuko. Watu wanakuambia huyo ni wa kitambo, wa kitambo sana. Na hajabadilika. So unajua pia we ni product ya mtu mwenye anakulea. That is why niko hivi. Mm-hmm. Then saa hizi na nashiriki Nairobi Faith Church. Nikiwa Nairobi, nikiwa ushago bado ni kwa Pastor Zadok. Inaitwa Blessed Restoration Center iko Malimini. Mm-hmm. Huyo bishop pia injili yake sio hiyo mbaya. Actually ukiwa chini yake, chini ya upako wake, hautajichanganya. Mm-hmm. And that is why mimi pia niliamua ni, nilikuwa nimeamua na bado ni hivyo, mi I will minister. Mm-hmm. Sina haraka kama ni pesa Mungu akiamua zitakuja ni sawa but mi I will minister. Wow. Mm-hmm. Na labda umehakikisha vipi kwenye vile amekuwa anasema umehakikisha vipi kwamba una, una make sure hapa ni chini tunaendelea na labda umechangia vipi pia kuendeleza injili labda kanisani pako ama katika uh, gospel ministry Katika gospel ministry nikiwa kanisani mimi huimba na pia mimi ni interpreter nikiwa kanisani yeah. So kazi ya Mungu inaendelea bado hivyo na nahakisha kwamba hii ni ku minister kwa sababu mimi utapata nasema eti wewe kuna pesa mahali uende uimbe sababu kuna pesa manini mimi wanasema watu hata wanazenda by the way si eti mimi naimba eti mimi ndio kusema nini hapana yeah. ukikuja pale utanipata mimi ni backup ndio kwa sababu ya kuwa humble hakuna mm-hmm. haja sijui kiburi nini nini so nikiwa pale unaweza pata hata kuna watu wameenda show mahali watu wameenda ku minister mahali maybe watapewa kitu but mimi am there wakati wangu ukifika si wewe singangani singangani nitaka opportunity by force no ikikuja ni hivyo sasa unasema mimi nikikuita kanisa ni pangu nikuite bure wengine ni walipe sijasema hivyo unajua kuna mtu atakwambia aje kuna mtu atakwambia sitakuja kama sijaona confirmation si ndio so mimi nikikuja ukiniambia geti kuja uimbe nitakuja na ukiniambia nitakupa kitu pia utanipa sitakataa na, na kuna mtu atakataa pesa na e. <laughs> lakini uda, sina condition sina condition actually yeah. ukiniambia kuja uimbe nitakuja niimbe na pia kama wewe utaona ni vyema mtumishi wa Mungu amekuja mimi ni samekuja ni mbariki pia ni sawa na acha box ni kuite uji mm. nimekuambia nakupa hela na nisikupe uko sawa sasa okay umeniambia utanipa na usinipe. Kwanza wewe pia na utakuwa umefail. Inamaanisha wewe sio mtumishi wa Mungu. Uongo si ni dhambi. Mm-hmm. Ehe. 
sio poa nitakukumbusha sasa kasirika vile bati nitakukumbusha uongo ni dhambi ni dhambi afadhali tungeniambia kuja ningekuja singekata ndio na ki convert your pesa juu kuna converters into something else lakini hold on for that mungu amenionyesha kwamba ehe Uh, now get it. Uh, we understand now when mwalimu how yeah. to balance now walimu na mziki. Walimu na mziki for me it is very simple. Mm. You know miss kaingi chini tunaandika mziki ama sijui nataka kutengeneza mziki. I don't. Ni kitu inakuja automatically. Naweza kuwa hata niko hapo darasani. Kuna wakati kuna maudio mengi hata nimechukua nikiwa class. Maybe niko class na nimesikia message imekuja. Hii inakuja tu na record haya. Mimi naendelea na kazi yangu ya walimu. But then mimi niko napenda kufunza sana. Sisi hata sema eti nitaacha kufunza. Sijua mziki ama nini. No. So mimi ubalance sababu hii ni kitu inakuja tu. Si eti naiforce. Okay, kuna this challenge whereby kuna yule studio anakujua ka artist. Ndio na najua uko the same same class unafunza mhm juu kuna vile anafa ku, ku receive in the classroom mm -hmm. si ndio mm -hmm. but yeye yeah, ana end up mm -hmm. okay getting getting an artist so hapo mm -hmm. kwa darasa mm -hmm. ita ito kidogo acha ni receive ka artist mm -hmm. una manager je story <laughs> nikiingia class naingia kama mwalimu mm -hmm. No for you the student mwenye yani hataki kutambua wewe ni mwalimu and join ni artist uh -huh. aki ku approach hata pale shuleni mm -hmm. is like me na approach artist sasa kitu mimi ufanya kwanza to be uh, lucky enough nimekuwa nikifunza muslim school. Mm -hmm. Nimekuwa nikifunza muslim school so nikis, wakisikia about geti na anaimba in fact wanapenda nyimbo zangu sana. Mm -hmm. Na wanasema tenda baba na songa mbele. Mm -hmm. So nikiingia pale mimi kwa kama mwalimu but mimi pia na uanga na pia na advice. Nikipata kuna mmoja amejaribu kuvuka mipaka kidogo na inafaa tu concentrate kwa masomo. Mm -hmm. Nampatia msomo kama nampatia counseling pale. Mm -hmm. okay. Wacha bado tumesema wakati mwingine unako kwa darasani unafunza bado mwanza ku explain concept plan alafu nyimbo inakuja na hacha alafu una record je labda wafunzi wako wanachukulia bibi no kitu ufanyika kitu ufanyika by then nayo hunisumbua ikikuja inakuja yani hainitoi amani kitu ufanyika That is why nasema nita record. Nitamalizia kile nilikuwa nafanya. Of course you don't teach the whole day 24. 24/7 umesimama hapo. Wakati unapata hiyo break yangu after the lesson, nitaenda nifanye hiyo audio ndio is in distract. By the way that is why wanachukua audio. Yeah. Is in distract na kile nafanya. Nikishachukua audio na kuwa tu salama na kuwa na peace naendelea na kazi yangu. Ndio. Na hata hii ndio tu sana hiyo ba kitu is it 12 or 14 minutes tukumaliza acha tukuje wa geti geti tukifunganga si ndio ah maybe advice kwa yule ah uh, uh, maybe a lady ambaye ana kuwatch anataka kuanza muziki na yule maybe ni mwanafunzi na understand mtiani mitiani imetoka kuna wale wanangoja pia results hapa na pale yeah. and then uh, kwa yule mwalimu naye ana feel okay hii mwalimu hakuna place na inipeleka nataka niweke kando maybe uh, advice yako ki kiangazia hiyo vitengo vitatu jango vitatu uh -huh. kuna huyu ambaye akona kipawa uh -huh. anasema mimi niko na kipawa cha kuimbaji maybe ana compose nyimbo uh -huh. ama kuna mwingine akona sauti na anaweza chaka apewe wimbo nitakwambia uh -huh. kwamba the the key thing ni patience patience mimi nilianza ku compose nikao form 128 uh -huh. nimeanza ku record uzi 2020 2020 ndio nilianza ku record wimbo uh -huh. how many years are this over 10 years uh -huh. inahitaji nini patience kwa kama wewe ni mwanafunzi uko na kipawa kama hakuna pesa saizi kuna wengine wa wazazi wao wao lucky wazazi wao wanaweza support ni sawa wale ambao bado hawana pesa kuwa na patience and work towards it unapoendelea kuwa na patience usikai tu chulie mimi na ngoja Mungu atatuma mtu hapana work hard mimi ni kupitia kwa pesa za walimu ndio naweza record na ku record wimbo poa ni do sio bure so have patience then work towards it kuna ile ambaye pengine ni mwalimu, kuna ile ambaye anafanya kazi na una kile kipawa. Tia manani and work towards it also. Pray over it na mwambie Mungu akupatie neema, fungue milango na uiendee, usiache. Mm -hmm. uh, there is somebody who told me. Usipuuze message yote ambayo Mungu amekupatia, ambayo ni ya wimbo. Ile ambayo amenipatia mimi haizi kupatia wewe. Ukielewa uongo. Kwa hivyo hii yako ni amana sana. Na kuna mtu mahali inaweza kusaidia. Unaona kuna mtu anasema anaweza sema tu anaweza kufika mahali maisha imekuwa ngumu ama hali imekuwa ngumu anasema tu tenda baba. Na hilo ni ombi na Mungu atatenda. Kwa hivyo kama wewe ni unafanya kazi, wewe ni mwalimu ama wewe unafanya kazi nyingine na uko na kipawa work towards it, tia bidii, ingia studio. 
na mambo itakuwa sawa wao wao na hiyo upcoming artist ambapo ambaye yuko pale hana nani anataka kufanya nyimbo labda yupo shuleni yupo tu labda message yako kwa uko pale pingine yuko shule hauna kazi i was there by the way nilikuwa form 1 ndio hiyo sasa nyimbo zinakuja 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 zilikuwa nyingi niko na kitabu hata kinataka kimezeka size i have over 40 songs nyingi na so nilikuwa pale kicha kwanza ni patience kicha ya pili work hard hawezika huko tu hauna kazi mimi husema ndio mimi nijitolee kwenda kufanya uboti siji siji si kwa nilikuwa na kazi nyingine nikachagua kwa uboti ndio kuja niambia watu nilikuja nitakuwa hasdar no kazi haikuepo we fanya anything there uza watermelon fanya anything there anything anything kama uko ushago limia watu shamba kuna watu wanalima shamba wanalima wanalima na wanafikisha pesa wanaenda studio lazima kuwe na pesa actually and you have to work hard ndio na labda kwenye mitandao yako ya kijamii watu wamekutazama labda wanataka ku get in touch na wewe zaidi lakini unakupata vipi utanipata pale pale facebook geti geti na youtube geti geti ndio wow na pia unaweza pata sikiliza timu zangu sikiliza timu watu wanakupata wapi kwa sikiliza timu sikiliza timu yangu unaweza 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 dial star 581 kupata chenda baba kama sikiliza chini yako na kupata ile inakuja na songa mbele ni star 5816275 wow ndio getty getty thank you so much for coming through ah uh, uh, umekuwa msaada kwanza uh, to so many people ah uh, pale hiyo track yako ikitoka naona watu wengi walikuwa na comment hapa na pale huu ni nani anafanya kazi ako wapi tunataka get in touch uh -huh. but tunajua god ana kuelevate to the next level si ndio wow so that is the time of our tunafunga art world uh -huh. but uh, kidogo tu darwin uh -huh. tupate hiyo trailer movie and then tutakuwa narudi hapa tukifunga show si ndio <laughs> wow eh mtazamaji ambaye umetazama sasa hivi labda kuna movie ambayo inaitwa prayer sako kuna movie ambayo inaitwa prayer sako kama uko pale nyumbani wewe ni mkristo umetulia nina nini unaweza pitia pitia tu prayer sako ni movie ambayo imetoka na natumai kwamba utabarikiwa wow sahira cheza kawe what's fine god after we fall Why didn't you call the police? They attacked Michelle, they ambushed Will and I. I just, I just feel so filled with joy like you've lifted the weight off my shoulders. I feel blessed. some bad decisions and I'm, I'm here today to own up to them. So sorry. I am so sorry. When I I didn't know when 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 it happened, I just kind of retreated. I just didn't I I was so embarrassed. I was, I was just so I felt so guilty. talked about forgiveness week after week after week we agreed that we needed to forgive him we agreed that we needed to do this to move on it wasn't until i found god would that i realized what my purpose in life was amazing mzee mm -hmm. uh, i think umetazama hiyo trailer inaitwa prayer sako <laughs> hey, maybe dawi na tueleze kile because hii ni sekta yako <laughs> praise block mzee <mother. laughs> yeah uh, unajua kwanza tukianza na prayer sako mm -hmm. mimi nimetazama hiyo movie mm -hmm. na ni movie ambayo kama wewe umeokoka mm -hmm. itaku itaku ita build your relationship yako na Mungu unajua mm -hmm. alafu if there is anything nataka ku share kuna mm -hmm. katika gospel family mm -hmm. as worldwide mm -hmm. kuna mwimbaji anakwenda kwa jina Osinachi mchuku mwimbaji mm -hmm. Nigeria mm -hmm. ambaye alimba nyimbo ya Kwe Men yeah. aliweza ku pass kutuacha ya mm -hmm. na 
atujua ni nini kilifanya zaidi lakini kuna kuna mambo ambayo anasema sema ambayo hatuwezi kusema sasa hivi ndio mm-hmm. kishajua ni nini kilifanya labda naweza kushare yeah yeah so uh, manze to the family manze uh, tunasema Mungu awe na nyinyi mm-hmm. uh, na jioni wakati mgumu sana that you are going through this uh, what may happen but uh, god is only god ambaye ata come through make sure that ana ana feel that gap sio mm-hmm. wow the next one <laughs> Ama tumefungia vini Tupeleke kwa ingine The next one kuna DJ The second DJ Gospel after DJ Moss Kuna DJ ya naitua DJ Kroa Alikuwa na papi yake Wiki hili Alikuwa na pika jere Watu wa mwishi Ali DJ ambaye anafanya kazi zuri Na tumai piano na mjua Mina mjua ina personal way Because when I was making a decision now to be a gospel dj nilikuwa naangalia around manzi sikuwa na mtu yote manzi nataka na akanimulate uh, chini anafanya but one day nikika pale huko nyumba best yangu uh, that sunday i was watching now program ito tukuza yeah. and it was so real manzi one of the one of the thing ambayo ina stand out for dj crowba is when uh, um, i let my mama kwa set yeah. and they was sh- the, the mama was sh- alikuwa na share about uh, now dj crowba making a decision to be a gospel dj that i ban all the dj say hizo dini disc mm-hmm. eh, kuna mbesa alimwambia ni aje that tupatie maze John and the gospel akamwambia like, hapana i need to burn all these stuff na akapatia mom na mama kaban na he decided to be a gospel dj so he's a father to so many uh, ni kwa included hapo hivyo and so many djs au sio wini unajua pia kuna mtu anasherekea wasikia kuzaliwa mtu kama yule ambaye anajulikana sana kwa mambo mazuri ya sana spiritual things eh ni ni kitu kizuri cha kufurahia wow nimekutazama pia mara moja tu na pia nafurahia unajua mimi sikuwa napenda masuala ya DJ lakini through DJ Diano na ule ule kroba sasa DJ nimeanza kupenda maana yake kuna vitu vizuri ambavyo wanavileta licha kwamba wengi tuna watu na assume leni sio wana assume vitu vingi don't assume everything hawa tu wana kitu kizuri by the way actually era kama DJ ni kama DJ za wadi ya gospel atupa mimi hata Diano wewe kama si kroba ungekuwa DJ no no i was i was a secular DJ really back but uh, so when you converting to Christ Jesus yes. I wanted to do the same same thing I used to do so mm-hmm. music really changed but yeah. the passion is still the same mm-hmm. yeah so unaweza pata ukipata hii zingine pia unaweza chapa hapana zi I want I want DJ Sekila even wasio <laughs> tarajio tu via na hizi chaza Sekila so I want DJ Sekila any hata uh, hata lete okay iko na nini manze uh, si hizi chaza god wangu because I personally tunajua penye god ameitoa yeah. yeah so I want to go to Sekila again back again exactly. <laughs> wow the, the next one kuna two appraising kuna 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 appraising artist anaitwa Skywalker Skywalker Skywalker, yeah, Skywalker. there is a project anafanya ni amazing sana mm-hmm. na tumai labda tutatuta tutafuatilia fuatilia ni mjue alafu ni ile project yake mm-hmm. itakuwa vema sijui wow Skywalker tumai interact naye na Joanna drop project leo anafanya uh, shooting uh, for the video and uh, that track amemshirikisha hey huyu jamaa yuko hapo anafanya kazi nyingi sana so <laughs> tako na angalia kuna endaje na tukipata hizo footage tako na share na nyinyi na itakuwa vizuri sana so that you can get each and everything else here so on the praise blog